be a good day. Even if I make it myself, it's gonna be a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too. Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. It's Tuesday, February 6, 2007, and here is today's top story. CBS Sports had a super night Sunday with Super Bowl 41, averaging a fast national household rating share of 42.664 from 6.27 p.m. to 10.04 p.m. Now the 9 to 9.30 time period earned the highest rating share of 45.065. Super Bowl 41 was the second most watched Super Bowl ever, averaging 93.15 million viewers. Sunday's NFL championship telecast also ranks third overall as the most watched program in television history after the series finale of MASH and Super Bowl 30. We have more good stuff coming up, but first this message from the Jaconi S1000. And remember, if you had a promo or a commercial in this video, we'd all be watching your stuff right now. Tired of vacuums that say that they suck, but they don't? Try the new Jaconi S1000, the suckiest vacuum around. Sucks on thick carpet. Sucks on area rugs. And boy, does it ever suck on bare floors. It's a revolutionary new system that makes it suck so much. So if you want a product that really sucks, buy the Ciccone S1000. Ciccone, also makers of the True Air Whistle. No whistle blows more than ours. Coming up under Morgan Stuff, dust settles in Boston and on Turner Broadcasting, Lifetime preps to launch new drama series, Morning Show with Mike and Juliet reach 70%, and Ben Silverman signs deal with NBC Universal Television Group. As the cartoon terrorism dust settles in Boston, so does the conversations about just how much Turner Broadcasting and or Interference Marketing Group should pay to the city of Boston and various state and local agencies for the guerrilla marketing stunt that left much of the city paralyzed. Turner Broadcasting and its marketing group will pay a total of $2 million, the first million going towards reimbursement of those agencies deployed to deal with electronic devices, and the second million earmarked for Homeland Security and other programs. Lifetime Television will premiere a new drama series with a mystical twist, Blood Ties, on March 11th at 9 o'clock, with two one-hour episodes back-to-back. New episodes will then air on Sundays at 10 o'clock. The series, based on the novels by Tanya Huff, stars Christina Cox as a private investigator who takes on supernatural crimes with her 450-year-old vampire partner, played by Kyle Schmidt. Inside Film Studios Limited and Kaleidoscope Entertainment Incorporated produced the series for Lifetime. The debut of Comedy Central's The Sarah Silverman Program on February 1st at 10.30 had 1.3 million adult 18-49 viewers tuning in, representing a 1.2 adult 18-49 rating. The Morning Show with Mike and Juliet, distributed by 20th Television, has just added 12 new affiliates, taking the number of stations carrying the program to 68 and the national clearance to 70%. NBC Universal Domestic Television Distribution has sold Law and Order Criminal Intent in more than 85% of the U.S. as a Monday through Friday strip in national syndication for this fall. On to production and development, TV Guide Channel has begun production on a new original weekly series called Making News, Texas Style. The 13-episode series is shot on location in Midland, Odessa, Texas, and goes behind the scenes of a local television news station. The program is produced by Nick Davis Productions. NBC Universal Television Group has a new creative agreement with Ben Silverman, which will give NBC and NBC Universal's cable networks a first look at all scripted and unscripted projects from Silverman's Reveille Production Company over the next two years. Currently, Silverman produces two shows for NBC, The Office and The Biggest Loser, in addition to having three pilots in development with the NBC Universal Television Studio. Moving along to broadband and digital, Amped Mobile has signed development deals with several top names in Hollywood. The projects include a series of comedy shorts from Jack Black, Dan Harmon, and Rob Schrab, a series from Icebox co-founded by Howard Gordon, executive producer of 24, called The Paranormal News with April Scott on Amped Live, Lil Hollywood, a spin-off of Comedy Central's Lil Bush, resident of the United States, 
and additional shows in development from AMP staffers including Gold Diggers, Iron Lunch Lady, Fashion Sense, Doggy Style, and Sneaker Freaks. Well, turning to the rating summary for Sunday, according to Live Plus Same Day Ratings from Nielsen Media Research, CBS spiked a huge victory Sunday night with a 28.057 adult 18 to 49. CBS Super Bowl coverage is now the third highest rated program in television history. The fairly even rating surge for CBS began at 7 o'clock with a 32.767. At 8 o'clock, CBS delivered a 32.563. And then at 9 o'clock, CBS was still going strong with a 31.961. CBS Criminal Minds got a boost as the post-game episode captured a 14.734. And as my daughter puts it, it was an amazing episode. I couldn't stay awake. And today's myth, John Denver once served as a U.S. Army sniper in Vietnam. Nope, Denver's father was a career military officer after World War II. Well, that wraps it up for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, loads of new classified ads, and a few other stories that didn't make it into today's podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music and synopsis was composed and performed by David Stango. This podcast is a synopsis media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanik. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.